Why will Seattle get their first win in Houston? Leg 1 of the Western Conference Finals is Seattle's chance to get their first win in Houston. In their previous eight meetings in Houston, the Sounders are 0-4-4. The Sounders haven't dominated on the road this season, but there are plenty of reasons to believe that Tuesday will be the day they get their first win at BBVA Compass Stadium. There are plenty of reasons to think the Sounders get the win, and we all took a few sentences to explain how we see the Rave Green coming back with a lead. Jacob Landsberg. Finally healthy, Seattle has the talent to overrun a questionable backline in Houston. After seeing Houston go on the road and advance over Portland, the Sounders will push for a goal and a win to prevent coming home tied or behind. I'm betting on Victor Rodriguez, having a breakout game and Jordan Morris scoring off the bench. Act. The 2017 Seattle Sounders, led by Clint Dempsey and Nicholas Ladero, are as versatile in the attack as ever. Even though Houston got away with a 0-0 home draw in the last matchup, they likely know attempting the same trick against Seattle would be near suicide. Expect a more open game, and Seattle's rested attack to take advantage. Spencer Davis Despite playing away on a subpar pitch, the Seattle Sounders are well rested, somewhat healed up, and ready for a battle in East Texas. Houston will hold strong at home, but their desire to snatch a goal will open up holes in the defense. That some combination of Clint Dempsey, Nicholas Ladero, and Victor Rodriguez will exploit and punish. The match might look even on paper, but Seattle will come out on top. I expect a tight win for Seattle and Houston, ahead of a dominant performance in the return leg. Dave Clark. Jovan Jones and Kelvin Leardham versus Jolly Alana Baba and one of Demarcus Beasley or Dylan Remick. If Schmetzer wants to dominate wide play and hopes to pin back the Dynamo wingers, he has the personnel to do so. Doug Macker. Two words, Clint Dempsey. Deuce didn't get to take the field in the playoffs last season. He didn't get to play in the Cup. He sat on the sideline for most of the match as the United States World Cup hopes slipped away. The most dangerous goal scorer in USMNT history isn't flying down to Houston to lose. Jeremiah Oshin. I'm inclined to trust a great defense on the road more than a powerful offense, and this might be the best defense the Sounders have ever had. Since July 23, they've allowed just eight goals in 16 matches and posted 10 shutouts. Sure, they'll need to score to get the win, but just a moment or two of brilliance should be enough. Andrew Beck Since the fairly embarrassing 3-0 loss to Sporting Kansas City on May 18, the Sounders have gone 12-4-7 with plus 17 GD a whole season pace of 65 points and plus 25 GD. For the last two-thirds of the season, the Sounders have been one of the two best clubs in MLS, and Houston has not. The better team doesn't always win, but if you have to pick a team, you should usually pick the better team. Ryan Cowper In the first half of the Sounders' 2-1 loss to Houston in March, Houston notched 14 shots. In the subsequent 135 minutes of play this season, the Sounders allowed just 13 shots against Houston. Defense is the key to winning, and the Sounders have one of the best defenses in MLS. Fred. We're Sounders. We travel and we do it well, a Tuesday in Houston doesn't change that. The boys will be serenaded, hopefully to a win, by a section of rave green that will drown out the mass of orange seats and the cacophony of revolting trumpets. Queen of Cascadia. Christian Roldan. Houston doesn't have a Christian Roldan. We do, and we won't share. Brett Hightower. There's little chance fullback attacking play is going to pull Houston's wings back, so the key will be driving the central midfield deeper into defense, and sideways in transition to limit threatening long balls and the number of runners. Roldan and Svensson have the chops to pull this off, and I think they'll be successful in funneling the ball sideways and pinning Houston's attack to one side or the other. The Sounders will likely struggle to find space on a fence, but the quick feet of Rodriguez, Dempsey, and Ladero should afford the team some finishable chances. Seattle just has too much on a fence, and a fence for a Houston team that really feels like it hit the limits of its talent last round against a shorthanded Portland side. Chris Tobin While the Sounders took the international break to get healthy and rested, the Dynamo had key players Ramel Quioto. Albert Ellis and Boniek Garcia playing the biggest two games of their lives and losing. 
Honduras hosted Australia in a playoff for the last spot in the World Cup on November 10 with the return leg in Sydney on November 15. For a team that is going to rely on its Honduran attacking players to break down a stout Sanders defense, that's a lot of flight miles and disappointment to recover from. Realio. 1. Winter is coming, and we are of the North. 2. Clint Torschel Arrows F R E R O L V A or Dan Hu. Susie Rance. The addition of a healthy Victor Rodriguez is going to cause all sorts of trouble for Houston's backline. His movement, combined with Nico Ladero running all over the field, and the overlapping runs of the outside backs, is going to be too much for the Dynamo defenders. They'll also channel the energy of another Seattle hero, Kim Little, who loves to embarrass defenders at BBVA Compass Stadium. Ethan Swenson, resident party pooper, but all-around good guy. Sadly, Seattle won't win tonight, but first, let me explain, right before center referee Chris Pensa blows the whistle for kickoff, each Sounders player will be simultaneously visited by the ghosts of MLS Cup past during which they will be taken on a journey that will show the highs and lows of MLS Cup playoffs past, first starting with the Sounders' previous playoff matchup against Houston. Following this visually interactive retelling of history, the ghosts of MLS Cup present will show the current Sounders players the fact that they're literally just standing still on the field, while Houston players confusedly kick the ball back and forth to each other as medical personnel inspect the seemingly capitonic Sounders. That brief thanks for showing me that but I don't understand the pertinence interlude will be followed by a visit from the ghosts of MLS Cup playoffs future which will show the very same statuesque Sounders springing back into life, just in time, where with renewed vim and vigor, spurred on from the memories of distant playoffs, they managed to salvage a draw, afterward moving on to Seattle, where they successfully advanced to the finals. As a fan, it's very frustrating to watch 